today we have an interesting challenge we need to throw a custom exception in case we don't get an employee out of the optional object so first of all let me go through the code so here as you can see we are converting a list to a stream then we are filtering on the basis of salary and then we are saying find first then we are saying get and then we are printing the employee here in case if there is some kind of exception which we are not sure as of now we are catching it and printing it here so what we will do is first of all let me make the limit as 12 and then see the output so now if i execute the code you can see that i'm getting an employee object in the output here that is priyanka with id 129 now let me increase the limit to as 24 lakhs now let's see so this time you see that we are getting an exception no such element exception and the value is no value present but the challenge is that we need to throw no such employee exception which is our custom exception let's see how we can do it so for that instead of invoking the get method what we will do is we will be saying here or else and then we are going to say through so here it is going to look something like this now this or else method if you see this is going to accept a supplier supplier as you know someone who is not going to accept any kind of input but will always return you something so here what we can do is we can return that kind of exception here so let me just say no such employee exception so this is how it is going to look like now since you have also learned about the method reference so we can even make it more shorter what i will be doing is i will be removing this part completely from here from here also i'm going to remove this particular part and instead i will be saying colon colon and then i'm going to say new here from here let me move it a bit this side so that it's clearly visible to you now on executing you see that we are getting a custom exception here that no such employee exception no such employee is available and in case if i make the limit again as 12 then you will see the code is working fine and it is providing us the output do like the video if you learned something new today thanks